Very good crowd in here at Blue Tongue Stadium at Gosford. And Peter's already sung the praises of the of the ground. It's a beautiful ground. One of our most picturesque on offer. And I can't wait for them to get their own team up here. South Sydney versus Manly conjures up a lot of uh, thoughts, doesn't it? Of some of the great grand finals and clashes. Joey Johns, by the way, is doing the sideline tonight. And with the Eagles losing those three players late, it's not going to make it any easier, Joe. No, but the young man at 5-8 for the Sea Eagles, Kieran Forum, he'll spear, spearhead him. Kieran this year, we've seen how tough he is, but tonight I think we're going to see how skillful he is. He plays on the left-hand side for the Sea Eagles, and marking up on him defensively for the South Sydney is Sando, Dylan Farrell and Kane Morgan. They'll direct a lot of play down there. He'll get a lot of ball tonight, Kieran Forum. I think he's in for a big game. Andrew Johns on the sideline talking there about the number six, Kieran Foran. And of course, the sight of Jamie Lyon leading them out in itself a huge boost for the Eagles. Completed only 37 minutes against Melbourne in round one, returns from injury tonight. And his clash with Greg Inglis will be the ninth time they've met at Premiership level at the scoreline 4 4. So South Sydney still to come from the Sheds. Manly's record against South is imposing. They've won five of their last seven. In fact, their record here at Blo uh, Blue Tongue, the Eagles, is quite amazing. They've won all six games played here since 2007. Three grand finals they've played in, these two clubs. South won them all, 51, 68, 70. As they lead the Sheds, the famous red and green of South Sydney. And uh, the big fella... Gus was talking about the left side attack. He scored one and was instrumental in two others. Probably suggesting he's fast getting back to his best. And of course the wrecking ball, Dave Taylor, took man of the match in that game a week ago. And he was part of the terrorisation that went down Parramatta's right side. Manly though, I would prefer to think you're going to be much stronger in defence. There's the young lad that's on debut, Kane Morgan. Played juniors out at Maroubra. And it's his debut night, as it is for Nathan Peets, who comes off the bench. Ashley Klein and Adam Dedsit are the referees. This kickoff is large from South Sydney. They run towards the northern end of the ground, and Jason King is the man that brings it back about 10 metres out from his own line. Joe Malavau takes the second. And Joe will play the ball, tackled by Dylan Farrell. And Isaac Luke, back from heavy concussion last weekend, a subject that has really got a lot of the spotlight in coverage this week. Concussion on players and whether they should be allowed back. Played by Glenn Stewart. They work outside the red line. And Jason King takes his second. Play almost to the halfway line then. On Manley's first set, it's been it's been professional. And here's Nathan Merritt at full back. And Ray, as we see him get driven back inside his own 10, there's been a reshuffle in the Manly lineup. Will Hapawade has actually gone back to full back. Left centre will be Jamie Bura. Oldfield will be on the right wing. And Michael Robertson on the left flank as Asatasi takes it to his own 25. Brett Stewart, a late withdrawal. George Rose flanking him. And uh, David Williams out of the side as well. His Taylor. There's the Wolfman. Couple of tries last Sunday. Michael Crocker. Head bandaged. Almost to his 40 metre line. And now to the right foot of Sando. It's high. And Papawato, who had a wonderful goal against Newcastle 30 meter line for William plays it for Foran goes to Bura headgear 15 his own side of halfway on the eastern side of Blue Town and now Brent Kite will play it in the Bundaberg sign Bundaberg Friday night football with the ball sizzling along the back line and then Lyon is rounded up on the western touchline. And Oldfield at 19, and then Glenn Stewart.
forward at 13, and Jason King put it down on the ground. Glenn Stewart, sloppy play by Manley. However, they kept it alive. They got another phase out of it. They've gone to centre ground, and Watmo plays it for and kicks it. And players on the left are on side. There's a good chase on from Robertson. And it went forward off. Yeah, there's him. no advantage. It's gone forward off Michael Robertson on the last tackle. So Klein is bringing them back out to the 10 metre line on the South Sydney end of the ground. South Sydney defending the Brisbane Waters end of the ground. The Rabbitohs. Luke Stewart taking it away. I mentioned three grand finals for these two clubs 51, 68, and 70. And then the exodus started. One way traffic over the bridge from Redfern to Manly. O'Neill, Brannigan, Moses, Mooney, and then more recently Roberts Hill, Carroll, and Field. Sensen kicking off the boot of Sutton. It's big, and oh, it's just inside the touchline. Having more good luck than good management, but it was. It was a plus for John Sutton, and that is Hopawati tackle. And an interesting tactic there from South Sydney. That was the third, just the third tackle midway through the count, but they decided to kick. The chase was good. Taylor ended up making the tackle on Hopawati. I mentioned last week, I like that tactic. Turn the opposition around and hit them with the defence. That's a good run from Malabar, just shy of halfway. Play then by Malabar and running it away is Ballon and sending Stewart on an inside passage. Up to the South Sydney 40 metre line. And now to Foran, and there's a similar play on the other side of the ruck for Jason King, who's been conspicuous by his presence in hit ups tonight. And it's appropriate, I'll talk about it later. Jason being an old boy of St. Augustine's College down at Manly. And that ball, as you saw, going dead in goal. And running back with the ball is Talanoa. No, South Talanoa doing it on his own. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, usually, I didn't see anything that looked foul in the tackle. Trauma stays with him. Stewart. Yeah, he's jogging back into position on this left side. Got two tries last week against the Eels. Good finisher as Isaac Luke. Scurry, scurry. And away he goes. And he's almost into space before Bure shut the door. With Foran's help. Right side from Merritt's hands to Sando's boot. And it rolls over the touch line. Just inside the 10. Very nice. Very nice from both sides, actually. I can tell you they're both here to play. There's a lot of energy out there. There's some good whack in the tackles. and Both teams have, have used the ball to the edges, looking to test each other out. So they fancy each other. They fancy themselves. And that makes for a good game. I used to love those clashes early 70s. That, that was when I was a young bloke. And I was a mad manly fan, as you know. And to get the likes of the great John O'Neill and Ray Brannigan to come across. And Bobby Moses wasn't the under one. It's 40 years ago. Gee, you can hold a grudge. Papawati, I tell you what, don't get on the wrong side of the little guy. No, I was a Manly fan, I loved it. Oh, and Kite with a, a no-look pass. Something that I, I said the other night, and I stand by it. I, I think it's being overdone now. It's certainly not that necessary. There's a shoulder charge, talking of being in the spotlight that was David Tyrrell the modern day Superman Cherry Evans it might go dead yes it will black armbands being worn by the Eagles tonight to honor the passing of a young rugby league fan Christopher Hanovan he was a very good athlete he was good at all the codes of football he loved the Sea Eagles and tonight the players and the coach Des Hasler are paying their respect to this young man, Christopher Hanovan, who donated all his organs so that others could receive the gift of life. And Mum Judy, Dad Michael, brothers Daniel and Harrison, and the three brothers all went to St Augustine's, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, 
rugby league across the board pays their respects, their condolences and sympathies to the Hanover family. David Terrell's with the ball near the halfway line. There's King, as I said, an old boy of St. Augustine's. Morning, the loss of one of the wonderful fans. Here's a little kick by Sando. Another bit. Oh, watch out for the second kick. The kid on Dabu got a ball inside. Oh, this is freaky. Here he is scoring a try. Kane Morgan. No, Farrell scored the try. Morgan through the pass. Oh, that was also electric. And a situation again where Chris Sando was going to kick the football, but the pressure came through and made him change his mind, so he skirted to the right. Anthony Watmo was up in his face, tried to grab him, but Sando, jack in the box, a little chip over the top, it's a beauty. I think they're onside on the outside of him. I think it's okay, it bounces up off the, the boot of the man, as you pointed out, on Debu, and then back over the top of Sando to Farrell. Great try opening points. Well, that'll make the real. That will make the real real. Absolutely scorching stuff. And there he is, the young Kane Morgan. He threw the final ball. Farrell got the try. But his work was just incredible this trip. Chris Sando to convert a try that he started. It featured the lad on Dubu, the 21-year-old Kane Morgan. Sando attempts conversion. He's one of the sharpshooters. He's got it. So it's 6-0. Dylan Farrell scores the try. But Kane Morgan, the 18, has played a vital role. Andrew John sideline. Oh, beautiful. Does anyone play Adelaide football better than South Sydney? Look at this. A chip and hope there from Chris Sando, but they don't give up on it. A kick over the top. He's got it back. Kane Morgan. Look at that for a ball on Dubu. And a beautiful try to Dylan Farrell. Look at the enthusiasm of youth. How good is it? Well, we, we did suggest that uh, you've got to watch that second kick. I thought you would have been all over that. Gus. What's up, mate? Doesn't matter. Crocker played that ball. Satasi was with it. It was an exciting try, wasn't it? I mean, it just lifted the roof here. Brilliant stuff. Button for Taylor. Glenn Stewart went low. And here is Isaac on the back of some quick plays to the halfway line. Merritt dummy half. Sando at first receiver and drilling it back into the corner. Papawati loses the footing. He comes 15 out, Sando's got him again, low, around the knees. Yeah, no shoulder charge, yeah, that was a lovely tackle from Chris Sando. Old field now. Sometimes doesn't use his arms in the tackle, but he came up with a nice kick and chase there as Robertson gets driven back outside his own 30. Really what, he really felt the wrath of that tackle from Asatasi over the top of Stewart. Nullivar reaches the 40, does a bit better than that. Taken by Crocker and Taylor. Here's quick play the balls from Manley, putting Watmo into opposition territory. Played by Anthony, it's come right side for Cherry Evans. He kicks it, but he's found Nathan Merritt, and Merritt comes outside the 20 metre line. Ray, we've been going 11 minutes. We are yet to have an error. Both teams are five from five in their completions, and no penalty so far. Telenoa. Seems okay. Play back to Greg Inglis. So, we were talking about and adulating what happened last weekend on this left side. The first points of the game for South, and indeed in the game, have come from a right side play. The youngsters really getting their teeth into that try, and Sando finding the line down about nine metres away. Johnny Lang, the coach. These fifth tackle kicks have been terrific tonight, Chris Sando. Only been going a short while, but he's already had five fifth tackle efforts and been very accurate with all of them. And South Sydney, as we sort of predicted before kickoff, 
have served notice. They're not going to be stood over. Manly have belted their opposition into submission the last couple of weeks with brutal defence. These South Sydney forwards have said, no, we're having none of that. They've been quick across the advantage line. They've been physical in the, in the ball running themselves. And if anything, they've got the better of the opening exchanges. They've forced Manly way back into their half a couple of times. TAB Sports Bet, 1 triple 3 9 0. This is Bura. Foran goes to Watmo. Watmo finds King. And they're playing at the moment on the 30 metre line. Manley's end of the ground. Watmo was the link. Kite came in. Cherry Evans, Stewart Lane. And now Oakshall with a good run down the right side. Speculates back to Stewart. He's rounded up and tackled by John Sutton. They're 40 metres away from the South Sydney line. William Hopawato goes down under the tackle of David Taylor and Asatasi. Watmo to the 30, stepping off his right foot. Tyrrell's with him. Luke is on top of him. Played by Watmo quickly. Chance man. Little kick from Foran. And uh, oh, the youngster Morgan lost it. And South have lost it. Manly had a chance there. I think Robertson might have knocked on. His reaction isn't good. Just check what happened before the grounding. It all went astray for South Sydney there with Kane Morgan losing the football, but there's no real joy or excitement in the Manly chases. They're all on side. I think it came back too easy for him, Peter. He didn't expect him to drop it, and he didn't expect him to drop it. Now, I don't know that Robertson's played at anything here, even though it may have come off him. Just have a look at the left hand here, see if he gets a, a touch with that as it bounces up. Yeah, I, I think he has. I think he's knocked on. He knows he's knocked on. I think it shocked him when the ball came back. He's all ready to make a tackle. The arms are out. The arms are out. Now the arms are out again. He's thinking about tackle. The ball drops at his feet. Down there. I'm not sure that he's touched it. This would be a better shot for you. It hits him in the... Um... Can you score with your groin? You can't, can you? That, that does help him. Yeah, I think so. I but think it helps him. That shot there, he's... It, it has it touched the arms? Has it touched the arms or the hands? That's probably what Sean Hampstead's looking at. Yeah, well, he's side, in the box next to us. The side-on shot is a much better view. And I'm not sure that he's knocked it on. We're still going to get some downward pressure here. And yeah. there's the pressure from Bura. I think you, you might get benefit of the doubt here. I'm not sure that Robertson has played at it Th this will come back and hit him in the groin and what we'll ask is he hasn't touched his hands there hits him in the groin and goes forward now he's got his hand on it there and the ball goes backwards the one thing you can be certain of is that michael robertson thinks he's knocked on he's mm. well, i'm not sure he knows he's, no he's yeah. got up but it, there's not look he you know he's I just got a feeling they've been there looking at it for so long now that they're, they're thinking of benefit of the doubt. Well, if he gives it, I won't go crook. Here it is, benefit of the doubt. Try to Bura. I think it's Jamie Bura that's going to be credited the try. 6-4 the score, a break and back. Do we all agree it's Bura's try? I think so. Oh, we've just been talking to Sean Hampstead, and he's telling us that Robertson has been credited with the try. No, no. He's, well, saying Robertson, he's, saying he's saying Robertson knocked it backwards and the other bloke scored, is what he's saying. So it's Bureau's try. So it's Bureau's try. Okay. Yeah. So it's Bureau's try. Yeah. Well, Dale Cher or Daly Cherry Evans from the sideline. He's got one monster of a kick in front of him, but he's equal to it. Straight between the Southern uprights and the Manly fans. They're happy. They're back at six all now. No, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the decision. I'm not sure that Robinson ever really deliberately plays at this. And by the time he knew it was underneath him, 
I'm not sure he got a touch on it, so uh, I'm happy with that to be a try. For the restart from South. Papawati using King. You know, fortunately for the young winger Kane Morgan, the highs and lows of first grade rugby league in a few minutes there. Outstanding in the lead up to the first try. A big mistake here from Joe Nullivar. A huge one. Young Morgan unable to take a pretty simple ball at the other end, but South presented with an opportunity straight away. And that manly try comes against the run of play for mine. Uh, South Sydney have been the better up to date, with Joe taking his eyes off the ball. So they get a good chance to hit back straight away, South, and convert their ascendancy into another lead. They can fade in and out of games. That's South Sydney's Achilles heel. They need a consistent 80-minute performance. Isaac Luke from lock forward. Going to Greg Inglis. He stepped through Jamie Lyon's attempt. We'll play the ball 10 metres out now. Playing it for Talanoa. And Talanoa, a left foot step, and then he jinks off his right. He'll play the ball just eight metres away. And then Luke for Sando. And here is Roy Asatasi. Asatasi, three metres away. And they struggle to put him down. Eventually they do, slowing the play down. Here's Isaac Luke, second man for Taylor. Taylor puts one in behind Talanoa. He's got himself a try, Talanoa. He's becoming a bit of a miracle worker. That is so good. Oh, they were just checking on side. That is so that is good from Big Dave Taylor. What about that, Rabbits? A little toe poke. Well, it's not the first time we've seen it from Dave Taylor. And he's had some success in the past with this. And it's, I think it's just instinctive. It wasn't a planned move. He just came across and, and saw it. And came up with a perfect kick. And Talanoa did beautifully. He said he's a good finisher. And there's evidence of it again. He knows where his sideline is. And he gets down quickly and stays in. Beautifully done. Yeah, they're good, the wingers, aren't they? The really good wingers, the try scorers, know where the line on their feet are. And they just they squeeze their way in. Green light try South Sydney. We'll come back for the kick in a moment. He's a good one, this fellow. As we welcome our audiences right across the rugby league globe, and particularly those people up in Papua New Guinea, where you were a fortnight ago, and telling us again about the love of the game you've got up there. And this is one of your favourite teams, I'm led to believe. So they've got a four-point break at the moment. For Tuli Talanoa, it's his 39th career try. Left side flanker for the Rabbitohs. Brilliant try. Laid on with a lovely little kick from David Taylor. Now Chris Sando, who's kicking at over 90%, I'll beg about just over 80%. Prone to exaggeration. Sando from the bar where it meets the touch at the 20 and it's across the face. Andrews, a sideline. Yeah, still, I was watching Dave Taylor. The kick might have been instinctive, but he was organising this play two plays before. He got them all in shape. He called Crocker on the Kuno replay. You see, he gets the ball. They had to come off the line hard when you got someone like Taylor close to the line and a little dink through. What a smart player. Well, it's a real weapon to have a player of that size with such subtlety in his game because now defences don't know whether to go up and gang tackle the big man or, or hang back and wait for a bit of finesse. And that's a huge weapon for a man of his size to possess in his game. 36 to, 20, uh, to 28. The Toyota Cup earlier. Sea Eagles 36. Defeated Rabbitohs 28 in the national youth competition sponsored by Toyota. Michael Crocker plays it inside the 30 metre line. And here's Taylor. Nullivau met him head on. And Kite comes in to assist. So Isaac Luke for Sando. Leaves Tyrrell out of it. Goes out to Farrell. Then it goes behind Morgan. Well, that's about the third time that South Sydney have looked dangerous moving the ball to their right. And I'm just wondering whether or not Manly are creeping over this side of the field to mark up on the South Sydney left-hand side where they know they were dangerous last week and maybe leaving themselves a man short. You can see Robertson, the winger, coming up. He was back very deep there. 
And the few times the South Sydney have shifted the ball to that area, they have found space. Mind you, the young blacks have got to hold on to it. Yeah, well, the pass was behind him. Kane Morgan, he started off way too flat. He was actually a couple of metres in front of his centre when the play started. And he had to be five metres late running onto the ball. As Aaron Foran down the short side from the win. He's getting awfully close to the sideline. But does well to stay with the help of Robertson. 40 metre line down the south end of the park. And this is the manly try scorer after a bit of conjecture. Jamie Muir. Jason King. The hitting from Roy Asatasi tonight is as good as we've seen from the big man in a while. Now they put on the black side play and Soren hits Bura on the chest. 12 metres out from the line. They play the ball, the try scorer, number 15. Foran, Cherry Evans, Kite running it straight at Tyrrell. And then the ball comes out. And the rule zero, will he? And South with the advantage, Nathan Merrick. I don't think anybody was too concerned, and I'm not being disrespectful to, to uh, Reese Wesser, but Nathan has often given the impression that he would, he would love playing in number one. You stayed on. You Penalty off. goes to Souths. Over time in the tackle, to keep it simple. Joe Nullivau, that was Morgan taken down, and then... Ballon made the tackle and, and Joe made himself available at the same time. So whether he penalised Ballon or Nullivau remains a little bit unclear. Asatasi, Peter mentioned his defence. That's him driving strong in attack to the halfway. Sando, Stewart ran a play off the ball. Crocker is with it. Tackled by Nullivau and by Ballon. Now for Sutton, they come to their left side. Taylor ran a decoy to take some heat away from Inglis. Nothing came of it. Manly ready for them there. Maybe, as Gus said, they might be overdoing it a little bit. Thus, Souths are going to their right side. Stewart, dummy half Inglis. Sutton! And uh, taken from him, two-man tackle, penalty. Well, oh, that's harsh. It is harsh. You're quite right. He, he was looking to pass that, John Sutton. Oh, you're Sutton see. was looking to get a one arm left arm pass away. Watch this, he's got in the left arm. Now he'll look behind him and he wants to get it out. And all of a sudden the ball comes loose. There's not much that Ballon could have done about that. Well, I think that's a lost ball. That's a lost ball. I don't disagree. Ball. Okay, but Matt calls the ball to come out. We're going to pick up the two. Well, I've been saying to you that the reason we had this rule brought in came down from origin with two boppers holding somebody up and the third one raking the ball. A bloke playing first grade football should be able to handle a two-man tackle. And if he That's my simple view. Yeah, and if he dangles the arm out like that with the intention of passing, what's the defence to do other than play at the ball? The ball's the game. I don't mind if they do steal the ball in a two-man tackle. Either do I, Rabbit. I'm trying to simplify it, do you mind? I'm with you. Why are you arguing with me? I'm not arguing with you. I'm just trying You're to... Oh, oh, here's the kick from Sando, Gussie boy. He's got the two. And so the South Sydney Rabbitohs lead by six again. Sunday football, a boomer of a game. Maybe the game of uh, the century. Last year, Roosters versus... To Hang on, don't start uh, laughing. Uh, I took an apostrophe and poured. <laughs> Last, Last year, year. Oh, very Roosters good. Tigers, Sydney Football Stadium, same venue. You see it on nine at four o'clock. Oh, very tricky, Roberts. Mm -hmm. I'll just open the little bird trap up for you to jump in head first. Now, here's Stewart. Here's McPherson. Well, so there's a feeling you're about to make a huge statement <laughs> and saw the danger in it. <laughs> that was a marvellous recovery. They won't walk away. The Tyrrell's with the ball now. They're just outside 30. This is Crocker. Met by Watmo. And uh, the number 12, Nullivau, busy. And away goes the kick off the left foot of Sutton. A driving kick down to Hopawate. Yeah, it's a good ground to watch football at. It really is. The height, from our point of view, is, is perfect. And I would think every spectator gets a nice view of the ground. McPherson's gone on for Asatasi. 
Rabbits, this is as good as I've seen South Sydney for a while. You know, we're 25 minutes gone. I'm keen to see if they can sustain it, but their energy and their physicality is terrific tonight. Best I've seen it. Bureaus with the ball, 12-6 South, Peter. And their control, their kicking game has been really good. Last one there from John Sutton, from the open space, and secure four, and tries to create something down the shorter side. Last tackle signaled against them, Cherry Evans. Kicks back behind to play the ball, straight to Nathan Merritt. He has given Merritt a couple of very comfortable delivery, hasn't he? They had line and length. And they bounce up beautifully for Merritt. Here's English Fend, Fend. Gets the feet up. See how he tucked them up. Stepping himself and going into touch. At the same time, he was looking inside for this man, Talanoa. And Talanoa will play the ball on the 30-metre line. We're down Manley's end of the park. Sutton goes short. That's McPherson, who just came on for his captain. Played to Luke. Decoy runner, then it's gone Sutton, now Sando, rubber kick, sits up for Michael Robertson, goes immediately to Hopawade, and Sando is around the league. Isn't he busy? They're all over them. 20 is local product Daniel Harrison. Oh, oh, Terry Gall. The entrance, Tigers was it? I've, I've never seen South Sydney like this. Their energy is just blowing Manly away. Manly will do well to cling on here and come back themselves. This is South Sydney without Sam Burgess, don't forget. He's foreign, that's Harrison, did well. Good ball from uh, Harrison to Bura. Right on halfway. Ballon to Jerry Evans. Taylor tried to charge it down, and it's going to sit down for Talanoa to bring it back to the 10-metre line. Glenn Stewart's there with Jamie Lyon and they force him back. Well, that was a good kick there from Sherry Evans. You have a look at the best kickers in our competition, the likes of Jamie Soud and Jared Mullen. They kick long, but they also find open space. It gives their chasers time to get through. It takes away return kick leaders from the opposition. And that's how you play field position. So Ben Ross is out there for South. And this is another run being made by McPherson. 25 metres out from their line, the Rabbitohs leading. 12-6, and David Taylor! Well, if he had have been able, Inglis was on his way. Now Sando kicks from inside 40. It's a big kick, but it's well in field. Taken by Hopawati. Out from 10 over 20. Now to 30, middle ground taken down. Friday night football for Bundaberg. Michael Robertson. Grapple down, right on the 40-metre line by David Tyrrell. Yes, Harrison again. Now Ballin away for Foran. He got through one. Bures with the ball. That's play on for mine. Foran's got a, a winger run marked in Robertson. Morgan goes after him and makes the tackle. They're 18 out from the line. Eagles attacking. Harrison's in there as a link. This is Morrow. And he'll play the ball eight metres away on five. Chance for Manly left side. Foran, another Bure. He's got a double, Jamie. He's got a double, Bure. Good boy. Well uh, done. Take a wrap, Kieran, for him. He had two blindside shots in this set of six. Both of them found space. One to his winger, Robertson, and now to Jamie Bure with a beautifully timed cutout pass. That's how you play short sides. Look at this. On to Bure. He'll get it back. And then he'll go straight back to the side and find Robertson. Put him away down the sideline. They'll bring one back towards the post. He'll plant himself on the left side again. Watch the cutout pass. Bang. In the hole. Beautiful play. Young Harrison in 20. The kid that I was talking about from the entrance. Beautiful part of uh, the Central Coast up there. Jamie Bura, two tries. Jamie Bura, two tries for Manly. Playing out of position 
I've mainly only seen him play nine. He's playing out in the centre. They yeah, played back row as well as Cherry Evans looks to even up the score here. And it was beautiful work from Kieran Foreman. It's a, oh, Ooh, that's not, it's under the bar. It was going to miss by a mile and then sort of straightened up. The, while you praise the attack there and, and definitely say the defence was what they had enough numbers, South Sydney. And young Kane Morgan, he's back on the try line on his heels, does not move up on the outside at all and was never, ben, ever going to make a tackle. You, you've got it. It's late in the tackle count. You can't be tired. And Cherry Evans would like that one over. I, I like the fact, Peter, that Kieran Foran hasn't resorted to these boring second-man plays that 90% of the teams and playmakers use these days. They all get lazy and just look for the second-man play. First one through, throw it out the back, or give it to the first man. Kieran Foran... Is prepared to step on a short side, count numbers, and throw the ultimate pass himself or give it to someone who can get it to his winger. Robinson has gone right through. Robinson tackled inside the 40 metre line. Tremendous run by Tim Robinson. Now Anthony Rodmo on the back of it. And he's away from an attempted tackle over there by Nathan Merritt. It's come to William Hongawabe now. He takes the tackle and gets it away. It's come from Morrow and gone through Watmo to Stewart. And Glenn Stewart will play the ball. Ten metres away from the South Sydney line. So here it is again, Manly bombarding the South Sydney line. The kick from four and well taken by Morgan. Uh, penalty up to the South for to grab him. the defender in the air. Well, that wasn't the best decision from Kieran Foran because they've they've lost the plot, South Sydney. They were way on top. They've conceded points. Great run there from Robinson. And then it was backed up by Watmo. And it wasn't the last tackle. And he's kicked it straight to the winger, Morgan. So that's a real let-off for South Sydney. They were back on the heels. And Gus pointed out that they come in and out of matches. And those couple of minutes there, they were out of it. 12-10 then. We're inside the 10 minutes before half time. And I note that South Sydney have conceded the most tries of any team in the last 10 minutes of each half. So that was almost the second try in a short space of time in that dreaded period for them. Here's Luke. And New Zealand number nine, and we've got a, a hell of a test match coming up. On the Gold Coast, a week into May, this is Hopaware. Seven and a half minutes of this half to go. They're back on their 20. Candles versus Kiwis, skilled Park Rabina, Friday, May 6. Tickets available, ticketech.com.au. And that's the test that was to have been played in Christchurch. The ARL are flying. 250 people from Christchurch for the test as they are with the people affected by the floods and cyclones in North Queensland and here is Robinson on the 40 metre line down the middle corridor Cherry Evans then goes for a big bomb in the middle of the ground and Talanoa is underneath it high swirl oh Foran tried to put a shot on him <laughs> Doesn't he throw himself into the action, Kieran Foran? He gets bounced back a lot, but then he jumps back up and roars at his team, and away he goes. Look at that. Look at that. Up he gets, and away he goes. He's a beauty. You like him, Rabbits? I, I think he's outstanding. Peter's, Peter's got him right up there. He's the best young player in the game today. And that includes a lot of people that are getting more raps than he is. And when you get raps like that from Sterlo, then you, you must be pretty good at what you're doing. Well, it was an unusual play there from Chris Sendo, who just missed that tackle. He propped to deliberately kick inside his own 40 metres and then basically kick one along the ground. If they can go in, in front here, the Seagulls, they, they were on the back foot. Well, not about the back foot, but South Sydney had the ascendancy for the first 25 minutes in this game. It, it would be huge if the Eagles leave. Moro. Robinson. The fact is, aren't he down, Peter? Vic, Vic Moro. 
He found Zadu for his more up. Here's, here's Foran. Here's a second man. And now it's Hopawate. He's up to the 30 metre line. Dragging around the legs is McQueen. And played by Manley. Cherry Evans just punches a kick down into the in goal. Merritt's got nowhere to go. And Cherry Evans leads the defence with Bure. Yeah, that was smart play from Evans because I think ideally he would have liked to have kicked the bomb towards the post. But realised the pass wasn't great and there was a lot of pressure from South. And they very calmly just cut his losses and poked it down into the corner. That's maturity beyond his years. It was Fatuli again. <clears throat> had a fine first half. Played back to Isaac Luke to go to Ben Ross. And Ben in reverse at the moment. He'll play it. 35 away from his own line. Michael Crocker running it straight at Matt Ballon. And Ballon gets some help from Robinson. They reach the halfway line, having gained 44 metres. And Sutton puts a big kick down onto the try line. Hopawati comes back, immediately uses Old Field. Old Field is tackled by a struggling defender. John Sutton it was. Now Robertson. 35 metres out from his own line. There's Bura almost to halfway. Asked the referee a question. Was he entitled to a penalty? And the ball is dropped by Foran. And the referee is ruling advantage. South's play on. I guess what I'm thinking, Ray, is that even if South City go in two in front, Manly actually, I think, will feel better about that half-time score. Sutton sweeping it across to Taylor. And three of the Eagles are there. Taylor thrusts it back too hard. Merritt is with it, taken by Lyon. Eight metres south side of halfway. Crocker a dummy. Then he tries to split the markers. And the halfway line has been achieved by South Sydney now. Here's Greg Inglis to the 40 metre line. Isaac Luke. I was just going to make the comment that used to be almost the most common penalty of all markers not direct it seems to have faded a little bit now Robertson golden slipper day tomorrow from one o'clock the coverage on wide world of sports so we've got a couple of boomer sports events for you the golden slipper from one tomorrow at Rose Hill Gardens and then on Sunday we've got this magnificent well, match on paper. Roosters Tigers at four o'clock again on the wide world of sports. Glenn Stewart in from the back. Puts a fend on Sutton, gets rid of him. Gives it to Jamie Lyon. Taylor's got him on the hurdy-gurdy. Plays the ball on 30. Ballon away. Cherry Evans puts it down. Oh, Merritt, what a catch! What a catch from Nathan Merritt. And he goes scampering across to the other side. Well, it was a it was a big play, wasn't it? Very high risk. A couple of minutes out from half time. He could have easily dropped that. But he backed himself, got in there, scooped it up and took off. That's aggression. Ben Ross with the ball. Two points, the margin in favour of the home side tonight, the Rabbits. It's come away to John Sutton. He threw the dummy. A little bit of low percentage play, and here's a good strong run by Asatasi. South Sydney with Luke playing the ball. Chance here for the red and green. Sando floats the ball out. Robertson came up, and in goes Farrell for his second try. And the debutant on the far side has thrown the final ball again. Well, go all the way back to Nathan Merritt. South Sydney are not in a position to score this try if it's not for the big play on kick reception by Nathan Merritt. If he lets it bounce and has to roll back and get the ball, South Sydney are nowhere in position to score. And it was the aggression. There's the kick from Evans. Comes down, he scoops it up, picks it up, and he's on his way. Now, South Sydney are nearly at halfway by tackle one. That allows them tackle five down in the opposition territory. Again, to the right-hand side of the field, they find Manly at, and the two youngsters produce the points. But put it down to Nathan Merritt. 
they're not there, Rabbits, unless Nathan Merritt comes up with that play. No doubt about it. It was a spectacular low percentage play, but it put them on this attack line. And what a night for these two lads out on the right side. This kid that scored the try, he got a treble against the Tigers last year on Dubu. And this fella having a drink, young Kane Morgan, well, he's had a mixed bag. He's given the final pass for both Dylan Farrell's two tries. And I've got to say, he probably let one in down the other end for Jamie Bure. But it's been more than a pass mark for Kane Morgan. And the same goes for Dylan Farrell. We seem to forget that he's only in his second year of football. Replays tonight, courtesy of Kino. Sando then, close to the sideline, a test for him, he's got it. Hooking across the face. So we've got the Rabbitohs taking a six point lead to the break. Big test here for South Sydney. They've got their noses in front, they've had a of the first 40 minutes, I'd say they dominated it for probably 30, 32 or 33 minutes. Manly had a good seven minute period. But they've got to turn it around now. They've had their half time rest. They've got to come out equally as fired up as what they started the match. Second half then underway. Cherry Evans sending it deep down to the northern end. And Ben Ross is coming back on the charge. And Harrison was there with Bura to bring him down 20 metres out from his own line. So when they get to that 20 metre line, you know they've done pretty well. Or the kick has been substandard. Played by McQueen. A little bit sloppy, a little bit awkward. And then Sutton tries to slide the ball for Taylor. And Inglis pursued, turning it into a, a knock-on. Back here, guys. And the scrum will go down with very much the advantage going to Manly. Well, the easy thing to do would be critical and say it's the first set of six of the second half and they've come up with a spilled second ball, but really it was, a, it was a positive play, well constructed, and Taylor was entitled to catch that, and he was into half a hole. It, I'm not negative on the play at all. I think it was a good idea by South, but Taylor just put it down. It was a chance. Scrum back on the 30-metre line and Manley with this opportunity. A little window. 16 to 10 down. Manley's first use of the football second half, and that is Robinson. Tim Robinson coming off the bench. Three key players out of the side. As it goes from Cherry Evans away to Glenn Stewart, and Sando is out there with Inglis. And they make the tackle. 10 metres out from the line. It's out to King, then to Ballon. Ballon away. That's four in with his head tape. And now Harrison. 10 away. Fourth tackle. So it's found right now, and he goes himself, and Ben Ross brings him down with Michael Crocker and another Isaac Luke. Ballon sweeping it. There's a chance on the blind side. It came off a couple of South players, the kick from four, and that's a brilliant piece of work in getting back. That's a nice move. By Dylan Fowler, yeah, and it's good work from South Sydney. I, I agree with Gus. I, I like the play to get out of the attack and not often get Dave Taylor one on one, and that's what they did. And this time they were able to defend it, and that is their underbelly, not being able to defend mistakes. And they have another case, and here they go again through Dave Taylor. It's good stuff to get out of their own end. He gets almost to the 30. Greg Inglis then for Sando and Sando for Ross. 35 out, you heard the call, fifth and last. And Sando puts a big kick high, way down the ground to Michael Robertson from well inside his 40 metre line. But Robertson was able to bring it back to the 30 metre line where he's met by the kicker and by John Sutton. Hopawade wrapped up by Sutton. Manley still, some of the forwards getting back on side. Played by Oldfield, and this is Robinson. Jason King went behind one, four and goes behind another. Bure's out wide, got the ball away to Michael Robinson, and he's taken by Morgan. 30 away. 
Manly attacking. On the last. The kick is high from Daly Cherry Evans. Underneath it, Nathan Merritt. He might have had a little bit of the wobbles there, but he came away with it safely. And it is Morgan who goes in to make the dummy half run. He might have had the wobbles. He's a great finisher, Nathan Merritt. He's also very, very safe. But that passage there just showed what a really good game we've got going here. South Sydney, they muscled up for the first four tackles, put Manly back. But then Manly, late in the count, went wide and found space down the left-hand side. Positive from both teams. Michael Crocker and Isaac Luke. Here's Luke again. Isn't he a good player? It's play on there, picked up by McQueen. Nine metres on his own side of halfway. Sando, Sutton, left foot kick to be charged down, regather, he gives it up, gone to Taylor, he kicks again, look at the size of this kick from Taylor, without time to rehearse it obviously, and it's Hopawade bringing it back. Well, a lot of forwards caught in that position, wouldn't have known it was the last tackle, and wouldn't have known how to kick it, Dave Taylor was up to both tasks. Harrison looking to lay it back, he does, Bureau was there. A fine game. Man in the headgear, two tries. Support play good, defense good. Jason King. Got a problem back on the halfway line for Daniel Harrison, just getting to his feet as Ben Stewart goes to the right hand side with the football. Harrison limping back. Just inside the 30 meter line. South end of the ground. Cherry Evans bumping away from Roy Asatasi. Roy won't go away though, he chases him down. Effort by the prop, Watmo's pass, bouncing to Foran. Foran puts a little kick in, Morgan went up for it, then it was, I think, knocked on by Foran. Up on south. And up I on, think it'll be double knock on here. They're coming here. Yeah, yeah. Manly will get the scrum feed here. No. And Manly loosen feed. I'm declaring this the best game I've seen so far this season. The intensity's great, they're really at each other. Just when you think one side's starting to get an edge, the other one comes firing back at them. It's a real good quality game of footy. And you're going to earn your tries because the defence from both sides is pretty good. Stay in the scrum. Stay in the scrum. Great chance for Manly to get level here. So here's Glenn Stewart from the back of the scrum. Five metres out from the line. Matt Ballon. Then for Harrison local product he'd be enjoying this match particularly if they can squeeze a victory out of it Ballon to Jerry Evans Jerry Evans a double a dummy and a double pump and then Hapawate eight meters away from the South Sydney line six point lead South Sydney's way Jerry Evans inside ball for Robinson and that's four tackles gone here it is, it's come deep and it's gone through four and gone to strip. He puts in the little kick and it's taken by Morgan. Morgan might get taken back into the end goal. He does. Yep. Great defence by Manley. Yep. Here comes their surge. We've seen this the last couple of Sundays. Two Sundays in a row they've been behind on the scoreboard and they've won the game through defence. And on the end of this set of six, they just say, get back there, son. We want the ball back. Look at them zeroing in. Four on the chaser. Bureau having a tremendous game out on the left-hand side line, here. Guys, here. And Kane Morgan probably would have been better served to line. just find the dirt. <laughs> Surrender and take your medicine. The kick out by Sando to Hopawate. Well, the danger from there, Ray, was he was in the field of play. Going for tackle could have come involved. <laughs> exactly right. Here's King. 35 away. What no. The ball playing has been quite quite quick by Manley and it's keeping this roll going like a big wave. Foran, short, Harrison on, Bueller again. Robertson now looking at the corner. He's seven metres out. 16 to 10, third tackle on this set for Manley. And Harrison was upended, dropped on his back. McQueen was the tackler. Is Ballon with a dummy and then he has a go and he's short and forced back. Now the last. Foran's on the blind side. They come left side. Foran, little ball to Harrison. And I think he's going to point to the spot. Yes.
Thomas, I think the young local's got himself a try. Well, that's the third time late in the tackle count that Kieran Foran has parked himself on a short blind side, and they go to him every time. And I'm going to tell you why they go to him, Rabbits. Because he wants the ball. He demands it. He says, I'll do something here. Kieran Foran is constantly looking to get the ball in his hand. That's his master's voice, Kieran Foran. When he opens his mouth, they go to him. And he produces the goods. Are they still, um, are they still in business, his master's voice? Is that, that wasn't a, a plug for him? No, okay. Channel 9 in Australia with this match from Gosford tonight. Networking it around the rugby league globe. Well, there he is, a very contented Daniel Harrison, his first rugby league try in the top grade. Local product, an area that really has got so much talent going around in rugby league and he is one of the products daily cherry evans attempting conversion he had to work very hard to get that football down they almost defended three sets in a row south sydney but unable to do so and cherry evans well, he pushes that to the right we go sideline andrew johns yeah some beautiful ball play by kieran for him he's seen the first half the long ball to bureau this time he double pumps on the kuno replay keeps kane morgan out that gets Young Harrison one-on-one -on -one with Dylan Farrell, and he's too strong in the end. I've got to give Young Harrison a wrap. He's come off the bench. He's had a howler. Jeez, he's played well. How good is it, Peter, to see a young player like Foran demanding the ball? He wants it in his hands. Well, that sums him up. You know, he's... You know, other players, when it gets tight and getting laid in matches, will leave it up to someone else. He knows that he can be the difference, and, and that's because he's a great competitor. And to do that at such a young age is you know, a great advertisement for him. And you now his ball playing is coming in. So he just pointed out long pass, that time short pass, at the line. They're a rare brute. He forces his will on the contest. And if he can't do it with the ball, he'll do it with his defence. He's constantly thinking that he can change the game. Jason King with a handoff back to Hopawato and he's driven back by McQueen and Luke who plays well above his weight doesn't he Isaac and here's Cherry Evans driving it down the ground 12 metres out from his line Merritt's gone outside 20, he's gone outside 30 and he's met there by Glenn Stewart and Matt Ballon Glenn, I've noticed a couple of times Glenn Stewart he's run plays at David Taylor and he's beaten him Ball ends up a couple of times as well. And this is Ben Ross. How will they handle this South Sydney Rabbits? Well, the, the stats are telling us, as I said before half time, that in the, the last 10 minutes of each half, nobody's let more tries in than South Sydney. And as you know, when they've poked their nose in front in two of their three matches, they look like they were over the line, but they just couldn't quite find the judge. This is McQueen. So how will they go? I just think it's in the balance, Dad. It's not picket sitting either, by the way. It is just a wonderful game to watch. First one, then the other. He's Lyon with the ball. Hopawate finding Harrison. You talked about Foran looking for the ball, looking for the ball, because he wants the ball. Young Harrison, I got the feeling down on that line, he... And felt this is my best chance. This is my best chance to get over the strike. Well, if we go on last year, South don't have it well. So we're about to find out a month into the season whether they are better. Ballin out of Gummy Hunt. And a penalty coming to South. That's going to South. You've got to get up and find the ball. And now he's got the bloke for not playing the ball correctly, Pete. Ooh. The last time these two sides met, I think it was about round 15 last year. South had it wrapped up with a couple of minutes to go, and Trent Hodkinson kick two field goals to get Manly home, but they travelled nearly 100 metres on both times to get Hodkinson in the field position. Last year, South wouldn't handle this kind of game. And we're going to find out about South Sydney 2011 as to whether they can win these type of matches. Gets rid of Kieran Foran and picks up another six metres. That's good stuff.
penalties in the game have all gone to South. Four to nothing. And here's a penalty. Again to South Sydney. Temper's boiling over a little bit. It's against you for holding on. Yes, he did. I'm going to talk to him as well. But you were on too long. The smallest cut Ashley Klein. Yeah, I'm going to speak to him as well. This is interesting because he's agreeing with Watmo. Watmo says he was held, and the referee says, I agree. No, yeah, and I but the initial report is that you've worked him with your elbow, OK? We just need you to get off him, OK? Nothing silly. Ben? Uh, we'll penalise him for working you with the elbow, but you can't take it into your own hands by striking out at him, OK? Yeah. OK. So, Luke... Tyrrell and more good hit. Solid defence. Simultaneous from Kite and King, the two props. And here is Sando and Asatasi. Roy Asatasi, two metres from the line. They're setting it up on the blind side. As they go open side now. For Sando to step and step and he's almost there. He looked at the referee and says, give me an examination. He thinks he might have made just, the... Just check to the see chalk. if he makes the line. Yeah, I'll be surprised. Papalato got his body right in front of him. Manly players are saying, well, if he did get there, it's a double movement, sir. There goes the arm carrying the ball onto the ground. And he rolls over. This can't be described as momentum. If it does find the line, it would be a penalty, I would imagine, for double movement. You, you want to hope that he hasn't touched the line. You want to hope that he's short. I, I can't see that he's got the ball on the line there. No. What tackle are we on, David? That's right. I think. Second. So I think this will go against Chris's wishes, but yeah, it may well prove to be a blessing in disguise. No try, second tackle will be the call. This is your third. Wait, stay on side here, Manly. We've had three tackles. Oh, we've had three, you said. Well, somebody's lost count. Here it is with Luke and now Sutton, the second man. Merritt has gone away for Farrell. He's got three tries, like he did against West Tigers last year when on debut, Farrell takes it to 2014. And pretty simple in the end there, South Sydney just moving it to the right-hand side after there was a pause in play, and normally that allows the side to get their defence well set. We've got the try scorer hurt after getting the football down. Three on his back. Well, that's how many tries he's got tonight. This pass sort of stopped things a little bit for Nathan Merritt, but he was able to slide between Ford and Robertson and got the football down. Looks like we've got a... It's a shoulder. The young Dylan Farrell. Welcome back to... Blue Tongue Stadium and Dylan Farrell has done it twice now. This is his ninth NRL top grade appearance. A trifecta or a treble of tries on Dubu last year. He's done it again tonight. And a shoulder injury, it would appear, for Luke to attempt conversion. This is a big kick, Rabbits. A big kick in the context of the game. It's left the boot and drifting. So no goal. That's interesting too. Chris Sando came here tonight having kicked 14 from 15. He finished last season as a real sharp shooter, but um, that kick passed on to Isaac Luke. I know he's not a, a big kicker of the football, Sando, as in distance. So we'll keep an eye on the young number three as the coaching starts to start because he'll be needed. And they can merit will find Ben Ross. Ross comes back to be met by the left shoulder of Watmo. Nathan Toots, the only player not to have taken any part in the contest as yet. With Terence C. You see that there, Billy Eagles. Morgan. Farrell 
still under scrutiny. That's Tyrrell. Take that back seriously, isn't it? That's Bura's got him. Bura and Malavau making the tackle. Then a third tackler driving him in down around the legs. They're, they're the dangerous ones. The play by John Sutton in the middle of the ground. And Chris Sando drives the ball down. It is going to sit down, is it? Yes. So Hopawatu gets it back into the field of play. Taken down in a head-on tackle there by Tyrrell. Did you see Chris Sando go shooting? <laughs> into the end goal. Didn't touch anyone. He did his best. Robert South Sydney again back to this six point lead. 20 plays, 14 in Bundaberg Friday night football. Malavau taken down just inside the 30 meter line to the left side for Kite, who runs it at Ross. And Ross, together with Taylor, make the tackle. They go to the right side, and Cherry Evans puts in a, a kick that is taken by Merritt. He's red. He's read the opposition kick as well, Nathan. He hasn't had to cover very much ground. Well, I know we've still got a quarter of this game to go. Do you think there are many South City fans sitting at home or in the crowd here saying, keep the ball away from Sando? He doesn't want to kick a field goal tonight? The, 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 the averages aren't good when he does kick a field goal. I just can't think what it is. Something like that. Have, I think one three of nine when he's taken a, when he's kicked a field goal. Yeah, but he's kicked a field goal to get one point in front. The opposition have then scored a try later. If he kicks one now to go seven in front, I don't think that's such a bad thing. I don't think it's ever a bad thing to put your team in front. There's Greg Inglis. This is late in the contest. Yeah, right in the middle of the ground, 30 metres out. And it's going to Sando. He chips over the top. He's looking for the regather. He didn't get it the first time. Did he bat it forward? Doesn't matter. Picked up by Robertson. Dummy half. This is well they made that tackle on Robertson. Manly then working it away through Bura. Sando missing a tackle there, but he's entitled to his. He's done everything but mark the lines on the ground. He's really, really busy. It's gone across the back line, and Stewart got a ball out wide on the right hand side to Oldfield. He'll play the ball. Six short of halfway. Back for Glenn Stewart to the halfway. And he gets a pass away. It's back with Foran. Here's Manley now. Pushing it along the line. Making the ball do the work. And running the big South Sydney forwards around. It's gone from Watmo back for Cherry Evans. He puts a kick in. It's gone down into the corner. It'll go dead in goal. And Andrew Johns, a comment on Chris Sando. Yeah, I just want to give him a huge rap tonight, Rabs. It's been outstanding. He's laid on two or three tries in the first half. He's defended strong, his kicking's been outstanding, but it's his composure. He's looked really composed tonight. He's gone about his work. I've been really impressed. Well done, Andrew. He's had plenty of critics, hasn't he? Been tough markers for the kid. In the last few weeks, I think both halves, him and John Sutton, have been really composed, and it's shown in their play. I don't think I've seen Sando play a better game, all around game, than what we're seeing tonight. Here's Luke with a long pass to Sando. Here's Tyrrell. Big raw bone lock forward. Back row, if you like. Plays the ball. And Manley with Luke running straight at Bure. And then he, he's just popped the ball away for Peace. It's gone down the right side. And here's McQueen. McQueen's on his way. One to beat. Draws the fullback. Merritt scores for South Sydney. The Rabbitohs boot away by 10 points now. Great work, South Sydney. That's what they're capable of. Offload from Isaac Luke. It looks like he was wrapped up, but he was able to, to get the pass away. And Chris McQueen, he passed very early before he came to the fullback. But he did well. He got it to a, a try score in Nathan Merritt. He's wrapped up there, Isaac Luke, but somehow conjures up a, a wonderful offload. And then it was three on two. McQueen, big right for step. That's a beauty. He gets rid of it early and did well. And there's a lesson there for all players that, you know, when you tackle a man and you've got hold of the ball, don't let it go. The only thing that really matters is the ball. 
And as Bura wrestled with Isaac Luke, Anthony Watmo comes in and tries to tackle him around the legs instead of joining in up high and making sure he didn't promote the ball. Keno replay there showed it all. They had him wrapped up. And the moment he promoted it, Manly were in trouble. Great game of footy. This, is, this has been the best game I've seen all year. So far. So Luke holds on to the goal, kicking. 22 metres out, or bigger pardon, 12 metres out. And 22 metres in, and he gets the conversion in front of a healthy crowd at uh, Blue Tongue, 26-14. And there's the chief hirer of the box, John Singleton, with his partner Yvette and Max Del Mage is there and there's big Sam Kekovic the ambassador. Andrew Demetrio will be saying what the bloody hell is he doing there at a rugby league match Not only he might have brought a herd of sheep or a flock of sheep with him did he when did he get an, an English accent <laughs> oh, Demetrio. Yeah. short kick off a chance for this little bloke to get involved again Sando You know it makes sense. <laughs> so McQueen, almost to the halfway. I'm not sure there's a lie based on their eye, the nice gold next. Enjoyed with the football. Played by Luke Stewart now. Well, can they can they get over the line with this one? Here they go. Zinging along the line. There goes G. success down that left hand side but that wasn't that surprising they're up against a couple of rookies in Ryan Morgan and Eddie Wasselli. Well this time Greg Inglis has got on the outside of Jamie Lyon one of the best defenders in the competition in and away brushes him off sizes up the situation and throws the perfect ball back from the inside to merit in support. Uh, he's a class player Jamie Lyon but I've got to say Greg Inglis has had his measure now for a few seasons be it for Melbourne Storm against Manly or Queensland against New South Wales. He just seems to have the better of young Jamie. He's, he's a lot bigger, a lot taller. And that time there, he really showed his class, got on the outside, extended the, the right arm, got himself into space, and Nathan Merritt loomed up in support. This is very, very good from South. I've got to say, they've had this Achilles heel of fading in and out of games, but last week we noticed it, and tonight, again, a really concentrated effort to be intense for the full 80 minutes and it's really coming to fruition now this will be 32 to 14. they've blown it open wasn't it a nice move from english he actually beat him when he caught the football just with that little prop and that put Lyon back on his heels and bang he's gone he's had the better of jamie Lyon for, for three or four seasons peter hasn't he he's just in their one-on-one -on -one matchups greg inglis has been too good for him it's as simple as that so Andrew on the sideline. Look at the acceleration. That's frightening. Get on the outside of Jamie Lyon. That's a world-class defender. But look at this ball. Pinpoint off balance. Fired it inside to who else? Nathan Merritt. Look at this. Look at the acceleration. Bang the right fan. Left hand carry. And whack. In. That's class. And a short restart. Knocked back by Anthony Watmo. Brent Kite gets it. And they've got the football. Just uh, again... Reminding you that Sunday we've got a super game. The Roosters up against um, a weakened Tigers. It'll be interesting to see how they can handle that situation. Because Manly, they're not going to give up here. As Hopawati goes down the middle, 4 o'clock Sunday, Roosters, Tigers from the footy stadium. And talking of the footy stadium, you'll see the Rabbitohs again next Friday night at the opening of the Heritage Round at the Sydney Football Stadium. They take on... The Tigers. The Tigers Sunday, Tigers Friday, Rabbits again Friday. David Taylor playing the ball. Ten metres short of halfway, Sando for Asatasi. I cannot remember the last time, Ray, that I've seen a team in 66 minutes not get a penalty. That's the situation for Manly at the moment. It's only, it's only five penalties in the game, but they've all gone to the Rabbits. This is Stewart. 
They've won their last two matches here at Blue Town, the Roberts. Here's a big kick from Inglis in the middle of the park, but they've actually <laughs> won only three of nine overall since they've been coming here. Here is Hoparate now. Taken by Merritt. So what have they got? Only got a nice lead, haven't they? There it is. You're too deep, though. Yeah, you're way too deep. You're halfway up. It's their first tally of the game. Uh, still at 12 minutes. I think it's beyond Manly. But a try now would give them some momentum going into the back end of the game. And as you said, South can concede tries late. They're just in a different frame of night. mind tonight, though, the Rabbitohs. Not of that. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty, Luke Stewart. Luke Stewart. Stewart has been penalised. Well, they didn't get one for 66 minutes. Penalties, now they've got two in a minute. And that's a shame from Luke Stewart because Asatasi gained Grave in with the shoulder. He looks fit, Asatasi. He struggled with injuries the last couple of seasons, but on tonight's performance, he's uninhibited. Why, why didn't they kick that out, Peter? No idea. So, this. <laughs> So they'll, they'll get to where they could have been in two more tackles. Oh, I'll just keep this mad dog. Okay. Well, Mate, the, the, things have been really good, and then yeah. we've had three penalties on the bounce, but Isaac just blatantly pushed the guy's head. Okay, right. you keep your hands off his head. Can you have a look at also? Throwing us down too, sir. Ah, you got a love for you. They couldn't, they couldn't blow this, could they? 32, the 14. Grab it. 18, 18 the margin. With about 12 minutes to go. None of that. The penalty counter starting to level up fairly quickly. Cherry Evans, Dean Stewart, and there's the ball to William Hopperwade. And he's forced down by Greg Inglis. 10 out from the line. Cherry Evans. And here is Moro. Oh, see you, see you. Was lined up by Isaac Luke. And here's the ball taken nicely by Foran. He puts it down to Morgan. He's in trouble. Oh, it might have been forced yeah, there. It might have been forced by Merritt. It was time, forced by Merritt. And you can't be offside. Time. So it's a line dropout. Yeah, he was on the spot there, Nathan Merritt. It was a wicked bounce. Could have easily come back to the Manly players on the chase. Look at that hit from Isaac Luke. A couple of little fellas there, but Isaac Luke got the better of him. Nice little chip kick from Foran. Wicked bounce. But Merritt was there to save the day. He's a professional, isn't he, Nathan Merritt? That's he's, just, the line. he's cool and calm, and, and he's played some great football on the wing, but he looks equally, if not more, at home at fullback, and he just handled that well. As, Ooh, really straight through there. That looks like Oldfield out there that made that dashing run. And here is Moro playing at 12 out. See you, see you, Jerry Evans. Decoy Kite, decoy Watmo with Foran. And Foran is seven away from the line. 32 plays 14. Under 10 minutes to go now. From see you, see you. It's gone to a juggling Watmo. Now to Nulliver. Ran around behind Moro. No obstruction. It's come back to Glenn Stewart. Low tackle from Peets. And away to the right side now for Jerry Evans again. And Nulliver gave him a deco run. And out there he's tidied up by John Sutton. So the last tackle now for the Eagles. Here's Foran with this dangerous right foot. And oh, well, Michael Robertson, did he take it to ground with him? Well, it's it's a a sixth tackle. Nice little kick there. And just make sure, I just see whether the ball... Kane Morgan has actually the, left the field. Play and then just set the grounding. So we've got Chris McCoy playing on the right wing. And this kick that is very, very difficult to defend. We've seen Jamie Soward set up Ben Cray on numerous occasions with a similar type kick and Michael Robertson has only got eyes for the football goes up with McQueen who claims him from behind and obviously we'll get a better look at whether Robertson is able to control the football and get it down or whether the tackler has saved his side and it's Ooh, the now latter he's lost it that's a good piece of work by McQueen and he can tackle that player 
Don't get confused on that rule. He can tackle that player, an attacking player, rather than a defending player. If he got up around his neck, of course, that might make it a bit different, but he's lost it, hasn't he? Well, Watmo's claiming a try in, in saying that he's lost it backwards. And I know that the referee asked the video referee, did the ball go forwards or backwards? He, he didn't think Robertson had forced it. But the decision on whether or not Robertson loses the ball forwards or back here... It's, it's forward for me. Well, nine times out of ten, they would call it forward, wouldn't they? But just looking at that picture, it sort of suggests it does go back. He was odds on to score, Michael Robertson. We're sitting sort of with a good view of it in from behind here, and he was zeroing in. And with a man unused or not used to playing on the wing. Yeah, he's checking grounding here. He, I no. think he's content that Robertson's lost the ball back or it's been stripped out by South Sydney. And Watmo's pretty confident that he's got the ball down. He, he might be leaning towards a try here. Robertson's bowing his head, but I think in looking at the grounding, the video referee's content that the ball went backwards. We might see a try. Well, at worst, it was simultaneous there with Michael Crocker. Oh, Benefit of the doubt try to Manly. try to the Eagles simultaneous grounding is the ruling from Sean Hampstead yeah but the big ruling is no knock on from Michael Robertson isn't it yeah that, that, that's the big interpretation there that he, he hasn't knocked it on or he's ruled that South Sydney have forced it out now important kick for Evans here because he's right alongside the post but he needs to keep them even sixes if he if he misses this, they're 14 behind and it's nearly over. But if he can get them within 12 and they score again, there's a chance of a grandstand finish. So, son, this night nice little dab between the posts. Uh-oh, he's got it, I oh, think. Man. Yeah, the flags are up. He got the deflection right, Andrew, sideline. Yeah, that kick was to Steve McCoy. He's come on to the back row. He's playing on the wing. We've got an injury report. Here's Kieran Foran with the kick. Steve McQueen, the back row on the Kuno oh, replay, guys, out of position. Nice. He's out there because young Kane Morgan has come off of cramp. I doubt he'll be back. And the impressive young centre, Dylan Farrell, who scored three tries tonight, he's got a slight dislocation of the shoulder. He won't be back tonight. While you're there, Andrew, a familiar face up in that uh, box with John Singleton. Gee, it looked like your dad. Yeah, I think he's drunk the joint dry. <laughs> Rabs, he won't be allowed back. <laughs> <laughs> This is old field. Well, this needs to be a good set of six defensively from South Sydney without a penalty in it because uh, two converted tries in front, but there is still a, a fair bit of time left in this game. If Manny could go back to back quickly, here they come wide to Bure. Go back to calling that fellow old for Jason King. It was with that, the head tape. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, knock on Manly here, I think it's a court. Yeah, Robertson tried to pass and lost it forward, and even though Sando knocked it on, it'll be Manly's infringement first, and South Sydney will have the ball. So, a little bit of catch up there from Manly. Robertson found himself going towards the sideline and thought he'll have to try and unload back inside. What's this, Rabbits? The Rugby World Cup 2011. Yeah. Go on, you're halfway through it. Don't leave it to me and I Stella. Said, I, you're getting paid the big dollars. I said, what is it? You're the expert. The Rugby League, Rugby World Cup 2011. Rugby Union. You're calling that rabbits, the Rugby Union? Why not? Well, 12 point game here. I, I don't care what's happening previous to this. If I'm Chris Sando and we haven't scored in five, I'd be looking to kick it. A field goal and make it a 13 point ball game. Absolutely. Right, can they go to the middle? And Luke, who has terrorised them on occasions with these little darts of his, he's so valuable to this South Sydney side. McQueen, don't forget they're doing this, the Rabbits, with our big Sam Burgess. Many of us were saying, hey, this might be the best forward in the world. Last year, we're doing it without Burgess. Luke, Sando, and then Sutton with lots of players in motion. Jamie Lyon, Cherry Evans, the main, uh, the main tacklers. Morrow goes in. Taylor and Inglis have got a, a little blind side. They've cramped it up, and here's Taylor taking it ahead. Out goes the ball. Talanoa. Talanoa's got it over the line. They're going up to have a look at it. Fourth 
tackle. He's going to have to check the touch and goal line and the... Well, he set him up in a similar line. fashion last week, but he rolled it along the ground with four holding onto him, David Taylor. And all of a sudden, that ball's appeared in the hands of Talanoa. And coming across, he's been hit high. His left hand, I think, touches yeah. the ground. Yeah. His hand's in touch before he gets the ball down. He hurt himself, too. He really hurt himself. There's the left hand on the line before the ball ends. So be in touch. He's hurt his neck, I think he's got a bit of a burner there. It might be a similar problem to what he had very early in the game. When he was injured taking a 20 meter option to restart. So it's no try. It'll come back, I would imagine, 10 to the 10 metres for the restart. It'll be a manly feed and loose head. I, I think he's your new favourite player in the competition, for Philly Talanoa. I, I just get a sense when he gets the ball, you lift out of your seat, Travis. What do you mean, he's replaced Steve Matai? Well, Steve's out, in, out, out suspended. I'm, I'm saying this is your new favourite player in the competition, for Thule Talanoa. You've become a space cadet, you have. I don't know what you've been doing through the summer. You've dead set... You've been on something. Well, there's a man in question, Steve Matter. Sitting in the stand, he's back shortly. Well, mentioned. You wait till Fatula gets the ball next time. You listen to Rabbitson's voice go. Here is Jason King. Paul Burns. A, a manly supporter from Buff Point here on the Central Coast. I was sort of hoping, Paul, that um, I could give you this cheerio call if Manly got in front, but... Oh God, it doesn't really matter, I don't suppose, when you look at the situation you've been in. He's just come off life support, Paul Burns. And I'm told he's getting better. A call to you from all of your mates. Here's Glenn Stewart operating the outside. There's a, the ball out to Lyon. The bounce is good. And going down the right side is Oldfield to score. Wow. And another important conversion coming up. Down the right-hand side. And South Sydney coming back. They had a match-winning lead not so long ago. Glenn Stewart, nice ball to Jamie Lyon. Better kick from Lyon and Oldfield. He attacked the football, grabbed it with his right hand. And we've got a conversion coming up from Dale Cherry Evans that could put this game one converted try between the two teams with, with time on the clock. Now, well, he's, he's rushing a little bit. He raced back and got the, the ball on the mound, but I think he's now realised how important this is and there's a there's a tendency to rush because of the clock, but the clock means nothing unless he kicks this, Rabbits. Can you guide it through? I don't know about guiding it through, but I just can feel a little bit of nerves creeping into your voice. I suggest it could they hang on to this lead. Here's the kick. It's beautiful. Daly Cherry Evans. Wow. He's converted the old field try in front of 18,108 at Blue Tongue. Well, I, I'm, I'm glad because it's been such a great game of football. It deserved to go right down to the wire. And South Sydney are going to have to fend for four minutes to win. Is that how long we've got? Four, four minutes? I think, well, what are we at? Third, uh, 352, 351, yeah. There it is. Well, it, it's the finish the game's deserved because it's been a beauty. Well, again, South Sydney have to come up with a good set defense. Man. You can't give away a penalty. You cannot invite the Manly team down the other end of the field. Jason King, play captain, hits it up. 15 out from his line. Can we, could we go down to Golden Point? Here's Foran, Foran, down the left side for Manley. And uh, run down eventually by Crescendo. Michael Robertson, one in to Watmo, two in to Moro, to the middle for Malavar, stepping up his right foot, Joe, got a ball back for uh, Jerry Evans, he comes to the 40 metre line, they're down south into the ground, and again Sando makes the tackle. That is three gone, they've got a blind side, but they go back to the open, see you, see you, Moro, Malavar. Taylor came out of the line, but he herded Malavar back in field. He did well there, Taylor. Fourth tackle gone for Manley. Middle of the ground. See you, see you. Goes up the middle, but he's pulled down. So fifth and last, as indicated by Klein. To the right side, they go to Cherry Evans's boot. It's a high bomb. Merritt's coming in. Oh, they've lost it. 
They've lost it. Tyrrell lost it. What has got the ball. Zero tackle. And it's back to the start for Manly. They're 10 metres out. CUCU takes one of them. Five metres from the line. There's a South Sydney player. Can't get back in the line. It's Isaac Luke. Here's Jason King. And he steadies the ship. Five metres out in front of the uprights. 32 to 26 to scoreboard. Four and it's gone to Hapawate. Hapawate for the line. He's over. Hapawate has scored a metre in from touch. <laughs> and they're the man fans, and there's plenty of them here tonight. Well, they thought they were gone. The three tries we'll, we'll check from David Middleton in, in what space of time they've scored the three tries, of course. Dale Cherry Evans has still got to put this over. Nice second man play on that occasion. And it's the good side to come. You've got Chris Sando defending there with two back rowers with both Dylan Farrell and Kane Morgan on the sidelines. We've had three tries. What Anthony Watmo scored in the 71st minute. And Will Hopoate, he, he got a double last week as well. Well, what about young Daly Cherry Evans now? He's, he's kicked two to make sure they advance by sixes and now he's got to come up with the big one. There's only a minute left on the clock. There'll be no more after this unless Daly Cherry Evans can pilot this one through the post. Where's, Here you go, Rabbits. Your, your moment. Where's John Lang? Where, where's John? That's a tough last year for you, John. Four career games for this young man. 350 odd games for the older man. So Cherry Evans from the sideline. 26 metres out to level. It's on its way. No, he's hooked it. He's hooked it, and collectively, the red and green jumpers of the fans, they go skyward. They know now that they're going to hang on to one. They lost a couple when they put their nose in front. They're going to hang on to this one, though, by two. Yeah, bad luck, young man. He hit it solid, too. He gave it a real good thump. There's a bank of fans on the far side of Manly supporters. They thought it was over. Not that man there. Well, that's full time. Great game. Great, great game. Wonderfully entertaining game. And some outstanding performances. So the commentary team of Phil and Peter and Andrew, I might even have to split these fellas down. But uh, it is going to be a tough job. It certainly has been a tough game. 32 to 30. The Rabbitohs, three tries to Farrell, two tries to Merrick, one to Talanoa. And for the Eagles, two to Bura, one to Harrison, Watmo, Oldfield and Hopawati scored three tries in eight minutes to give us this cliffhanger of a finish. A blockbuster of a game. So the final score, South Sydney by two. 16 to 10 at halftime, 32-30 when the ref called a hole.